Okay, top ten moments of One Piece. Woo! So, number ten. Luffy punches the Celestial Dragon. Um, I love this because people always say they want change, but Luffy makes change happen. All the other pirates are just doing what the Celestial Dragons, like, want. They're not going to create waves. They're just there, like, following whatever, and Luffy just does not care. He's just going to take them out. (laughs) I think that shows the difference between him and everyone else. They're worried about the consequences, and he doesn't even care. He doesn't. I don't think Luffy even knows what the consequences for punching a Celestial (laughs) Dragon are. Number nine is when Usapo shoots the government's flag. And that scene is awesome because it's literally this little straw hat crew declaring war on the world government. And Luffy's not phased by that at all. He's Mm -hmm. just like, bring it on. He even shouts like, they're like, you made the enemy of the whole world. He's like, bring it on, you know, because he wants to get Robin back. That's his main goal. That part's amazing. Yeah. Number eight, when Zoro blocks the attack from Big Mom and Kaido. Without mm-hmm. that moment, they would have all just died. It's I so love good. Law's reaction. I know. Yeah. Law's reaction. And just, I love watching Zoro's progression and how he is. And that he, like, holds his own right mm-hmm. there, even if it is for a moment, against the two emperors. Like, it's so cool. Yeah, Zoro is legit during Wano. Yeah. Number seven is when Corazon tells Law that he loves him right before he dies. I bawled my eyes out on that part. <laughs> and the fact that Law can giggle about it. He makes this funny face, and Corazon wants him to see him smiling before he dies. And so he puts on this goofy smile, and Law is able to kind of giggle and, like, enjoy the moment right before the saddest thing happens to him, so. Number six, Luffy facing the admirals. I love this so much. No, there's these three giant men, like, standing before him. He's just little. He's, like, this Mm. little guy. They're in front of him, but he is going to do everything he can to save his brother. It is such a good moment. That he's just there and he is going to face them no matter what. It doesn't even matter mm-hmm. how strong they are, how powerful is, how weak they all think he is. Like, he is there and he's not going anywhere. In that moment, they're literally just in his way. Yeah. Number five is when the Straw Hat crew raises their arms with the X's on them when they're leaving Alabasta. And Vivi asks if they ever meet each other again if they can still be friends and Mm -hmm. they're not able to answer because the navy is close by and they don't want her to get in any trouble with the navy Mm -hmm. and so instead they raise the x on their arm which was a symbol of their friendship in the first place Mm -hmm. just letting her know we'll always be friends it doesn't matter that part yeah such an iconic yeah so cool um number four is when jimbei is talking with big mom and tells her that she can't touch any of his friends but she can take whatever life out of him and she's all excited like oh and she's gonna take everything like how do you expect to get out of here alive and then she can't take any of his soul and the the moment he just says i'm gonna be riding alongside the king of the pirates you really think a mere emperor of the sea can scare me like it's so freaking good it's so powerful i love jimbei number three is when the Straw Hat crew is on Zo, and they're with Kinemon and Kanjuro, and they think that Zo has been attacked unfairly because Raizo, the ninja, is not with them. The Straw Hats genuinely believe that he's not on Zo, and because there's been massive destruction mm. and people have died, people have sacrificed themselves. The two kings of the island have like suffered massive damage. Mm-hmm. And they're really worried about about Kinemon and Kajuro um, being seen by mm-hmm. the residents of Zo. And then they just approach them boldly and deliberately. And they say, this is who we are. We're the samurai from Wano. And the two kings of Zo sit and then they bow before them. And they let them know that Raizo is safe. Mm. I bawled my eyes out on that part it's such a good moment that might be one of the greatest moments in all of storytelling number two is when zoro takes luffy's pain after thriller bark yes um oh my gosh this i think again it just shows his loyalty to luffy what he's willing to do for the crew to save people's lives. Luffy's like unconscious. And even though they don't have an actual, like Zoro is number one next to Luffy. Like he's 
they don't like give him that actual title as like a title, but we all know he's like next in command. And if Luffy is out of commission for a minute, like Zoro is going to do everything he for sure needs to. And then Sanji comes over and he's just there bleeding like everywhere. And he's just like in pain. You can tell he's like going to die. <laughs> Sanji's like, what happened? He's like, nothing happened. And the way the voice actor in Japanese says oh, nothing so happened good. is so Well, intense. and that he doesn't, it's not about people recognizing what he did either. Like people don't know except for a few people who either saw it happen or like Robin eavesdropped. <laughs> yeah. Like that's how a couple of them know, but no one's going to say anything. Zora doesn't want Luffy to know. It's not about like, right. Like look what I did for the crew. Like it's just about, he's going to protect the crew and Kuma can't touch him right then. Yeah. It's amazing. So good. Not anymore, good though. <laughs> um, number one is Luffy punching Kaido. After Kaido has defeated the samurai. Mm. And you've got Trafalgar Law, Eustace Kid, and Killer, and Zoro, mm. and then Luffy comes. And Kaido and Big Mom think he's going to be super intimidated. They're kind of like laughing at him, making fun of him. And he just walks calmly in between them, goes to Camon's side, gets upset that his friends have been hurt, and then just gives a red rock beating to Kaido's face it's so good yeah oh it's so good and declaring that he is going to be the king of the pirates and then he answers their question so and says good. Uh, monkey D -D -D. and everything that happens after two <laughs> and I like that he adds in that he's going to surpass them and become the king of the pirates because mm -hmm. they haven't reached that yet right so he's also just given like a little jab in the heart you know <laughs> so good but I definitely think so far that's number one mm. of One Piece. And I'm looking forward to that moment being surpassed by better moments, too. Yep. 